Hi guys, this is Dental Classes for you. We'll today discuss a short topic called T-test. T-test is a parametric test. That is, these tests are applied when the data provided is normally distributed. Now, one sample T-test. It is also referred to as unpaired T-test. Here, in one sample t-test, what we mean to do is to compare the mean of a particular population to that of a hypothetic value. This is done when the sample size is small. This test was designed by W.S. Gossett. He had published the papers under the pen name of student. Since his pen name was student, this test was also popularly known as student's t-test. This test is applied to unpaired data of independent observations. Here, two groups of samples are sampled and it is done to test if the difference between the means is real or as a result of sampling variability. For applying t-test, there are certain criteria. They include the sample must be randomly selected and the data provided must be quantitative that is measurable and it should have a normal distribution. Also, as said earlier, the sample size should be small that is less than 30. Now, moving on to paired samples t-test. It is a type of one sample t-test used in case of paired samples that is for example comparing differences in outcomes before and after a drug or an intervention program so it is used in cases where the observations are dependent or when the outcomes are continuous in nature next is independent samples t-test here we compare two different independent groups and they are compared on a continuous outcome it is commonly used in case control studies. Now, let me explain what paired and unpaired t-tests are with the help of an example. In a single group of patients, when we compare change in cholesterol values before and after an intervention program, we are referring to a paired t-test. Instead, when we compare mean cholesterol values of two different groups, we use unpaired t-test. And that's all about T-Test. Thank you. For more videos, like, share and subscribe.